Hello everybody, my name is Adrian and I'm here to help you set up your very own Counter-Strike Global Offensive dedicated server, whether it be on your home computer, on a spare PC you have, or on an actual server. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is download and install Steam CMD. Um, I will provide all of the links and all of the commands that you need for this tutorial in the video description so make sure you check that out so i've already i have already downloaded the steam cmd and it'll give me a zip file with steam cmd.exe in it now we're going to create a folder to have that in so i'm going to go to computer um, i'm going to have it in my c drive right there and i'm going to call it steam cmd simple and I will extract the steam cmd.exe into that folder we just created. And then you can close the zip. Now we're going to start up the steam cmd and it's going to start updating. And that shouldn't take too long. So after it's updated, you should have a couple of files in there. Don't bother with them. We're just going to need the command prompt over here. First thing we're going to do is set a installation directory where we want the CSGO dedicated server to be installed. Um, so again, I'm going to go into my C drive and just create a, a folder right here called csgo-ds. It doesn't really matter where you have um, this, where you have this folder, neither for Steam CMD. Um, you can also name them differently, but make sure like in the next couple of steps that you change the paths accordingly. So just to have it simple, I'm going to have it in C, C is called DS. Um, and to set the actual installation directory that we just created, I have the command for that. Again, it will also be in the video description. And the command is force underscore install underscore dir space my c drive and then the directory simple so it won't show anything it'll just that's now your installation directory next thing we're going to do is log in on the steam servers is also very simple login anonymous connecting anonymously to steam public this could take like a couple of seconds and after a couple of seconds you should get success right there and then we're going to start downloading the steam uh the csgo dedicated server so all you're going to do is type all right not that app underscore update 740 validate now 740 is the the code for the um counter strike global offensive dedicated server and it'll start installing it in the uh, installation directory you set earlier. Now this is probably going to take a while because the, the the dedicated server is actually quite large because it needs all the game files. Hello again. Um, my dedicated server has finished downloading. Um, when it has finished downloading, you can just go ahead and close the Steam CMD, which I already done, which I have already done. Um, I failed to point out this the point this out earlier, but the dedicated server and all its files um, are actually about seven gigabytes large. So this this might take quite a while for some people. Uh, as you can see, if I go into my installation directory that we created earlier, it's got all the files in here, all the game files, and so on. And you would use this to launch the actual. Uh, dedicated server but instead of using that we're going to actually create a batch file which will also um, set the the some of the the configurations for the server um, some of the command lines for uh, some of the game modes such as classic casual classic competitive arms series and all of that will be in the description of the video once again um, so we're going to create a new text document right in this folder. Just open it. Don't call it anything yet. Save as. Before before you write anything in it, we're actually going to save it as. Make sure you do save as type all files 
make sure you do this because otherwise it's not going to work and then just call it anything you want but make sure right? make sure at the end it has dot bat dot bat again this will be in the video description and save that we can close this we can actually delete the text document and as you can see right here i've got a start batch file okay so right click that and edit it so we come up with the same notepad as earlier it's still empty but it will be the batch file um, i'm going to have the command line for classic casual so that's right here again you can find these in the video description so here has SRCDS that's going to launch the the, the actual dedicated server game series call console um, um, map the dust you can have the new the what's it called inferno whatever you want really and make sure you save that and close it and now if you're going to start this we're not going to do that yet because there's one more step we have to finish before doing that it will launch your dedicated server so the last step we're going to do is opening your ports making sure your ports are opened because otherwise uh, people won't be connect won't be able to connect to your server you will be able to connect to your server because you're hosting it yourself but it will be very lonely there without other people so we're going to open a couple of ports and again people the ports will be in the video description you will have to open uh, 27 or 15 on both TCP and UDP 27 or two no 27 or 20 sorry on only UDP 27 or 5 on only UDP and 51 840 on also on UDP when you've done all of that we're going to start the dedicated server by double clicking the batch file it's going to bring up two command prompts it's going to start loading it'll probably your firewall will probably ask you if it has access if it should allow access to the server you probably should do that it's going to keep on loading and after a while i think this is the last step gc connection established for server version zero also has fac enabled and all of that and now when you go ahead and launch your global offensive the server will show up and you will be able to, to join it now to further set it up you'll have to find other tutorials online uh, for example to uh, to make yourself server on the uh, well, server admin on the server and all of that I'm going to join the server by going to play browse community servers and in LAN it will be right here on the Inferno as we said it latency only 15 of course because I'm hosting it myself should be less exactly too and other people will be able to see as well if you right click on it view server info never mind that's your local IP address but other people will be able to connect through your IP address which you can also find um, online for example through the website where is well, what is my IP com you'll get your IP address and then they just add the port at the end and they can join it will also show up in here I'm not gonna go look for it other people bubbers will be able to join it your friends will be able to join you through Steam and all of that I hope this helps all of you I hope it didn't take too long um, if you have any more questions feel free to inbox me or rather post a comment on the video so other people can see it as well and good luck with having your very own Counter-Strike Global Offensive dedicated server. Have fun.